Hi, Terry Rowland from T. Row Studios. Today I'm going to show you another uh, love I have in the, in the quilting uh, world. I love salvages and everybody that knows me knows that I love salvages and I use them. I love them. Um, I find salvages very useful because they're so strong. Now if you take and look at a salvage, um, there's one side that has got all of the printing. Now the printing tells you what manufacturer the, the salvage was made by. It shows the different colors that are in the particular fabric. It's got lots of information. So the, the pattern numbers are on here if I wanted to try and source more of it. But the important part about salvages is they're there for a reason. Now the salvages are on the far outside edge of the fabrics and the thread count is a lot higher just in the salvage area. That's why I don't use salvages in my quilts. I want to cut them off so that I'm not actually sewing through multiple layers of salvages because they're so strong and thick. The reason they are is because when they go through the, the machines to do all of the printing, the machine have little needles and it's the needles that actually pull the fabric through those machines. So if it was just a single layer of cotton being pulled through, you'd have a lot of distortion and, and pulling. So that's why salvages are there. The fabric manufacturers are doing more than just these little dots. That was what industry usually did, was just the little dots and then they colored them in. And you can tell this particular fabric has 16 different colors. Now if I looked at this salvage, they've taken those dots and made little characters, which are super cute. Um, so in this particular piece of fabric, there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six different colors in that particular print. And this one was cut off, so I can't actually see what the print was. Here's one more. And you can see this manufacturer can do this many fabric, uh, colors in their, in their fabrics. And they've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13 out of the 16 colors are in this. So they've left the last three without any color in them. So, Lots of information on salvages. I love the ones that have got the, the little uh, characters on them and more fabric manufacturers are doing it that way. All right, back to what I do with salvages. This is one of my favorite bags. It's called my quilt carry all bag. I did do up a pattern for this. I love using salvages on it because it shows my love of quilting. On this particular bag, um, I've got four different items in it. My philosophy is if I can lift it, I can put it in the bag. And I, I could put more quilts into this bag. I take these to my guild all the time. And I'm always asked, well, how do you make your bags? And I'm gonna go through my process of what I do with salvages and how I use them in a couple other videos that'll come, come, be coming soon. This is called my quilt carrying bag. I'm just going to show you how it works. Uh, it, you can use any kind of fabric on it. You don't have to use salvages. You could use striped fabric. You could use jelly rolls and do the same thing. The ends of the bag are on a drawstring. Both ends are the same. I've got magnetic clasps on this. They don't they're not the best. If you've noticed, I've added a drawstring because I usually overstuff my bags and I usually put two drawstrings on the ones I make now. So open that. I can take this bag and open it all the way up and I can take my quilts and I can fold them and set them on top. I'm not trying to stuff and jam them into a bag, which is really hard, especially uh, when when you've got uh, like flannel or hard to put into bags. These ones you just have to stack them up and set them in the bag. Now the inside of the bag, I've used a home decor fabric. Home decor fabrics are a little thicker than quilting cottons. 
So it's a lot more st um, sturdy and durable. I usually use a webbing for the, the handles now. This one is canvas and it's four layers of canvas, so it's super strong. The handle actually goes all the way around this bag so that it's not just pulling from the very tops of where these handles are attached. It's actually pulling right from the bottom of the bag. So you can put lots of weight in it and you can make less trips. That's, that's the way I, I look at it. So this is one of my bags. This one has got salvages with a little bit of color left on it. I like to cut my salvages at one and a half inches. That allows me to put a half an inch of color showing so I can see what fabrics it came from. Now I'm given lots of salvages and a lot of people just cut off the white part and give it to me. If you're gonna cut off the white part and give it to me, I can use it. <laughs> you are gonna use twice as many salvages if you have it like this than you will if you have it like that. But both of them are beautiful. So this again, it's a little bigger bag than this one, but again, it folds out flat, has the handle going all the way around, has the drawstrings on both, both sides. And this one has got a lightweight denim in the center. So I just like a little bit more stability when I'm making bags so that they're stronger. So those are quilt carrying bags, but you can use salvages for lots of things. If you've got just short little snippets, I've added just a detail on one of the pockets of a little zipper bag. This one could be used as a wallet. It's got card carrying things in it, but just added a little interest with the salvages. This used to be my, my bag to carry my, my um, cutting mat to retreats. Uh, so I've just added salvages to the different components of the bag and put the bag together. Again, my strap is sewn on the whole bag, not just attached at the top. Just gives it more stability. But you can see how fun that is. All your pockets, you've got salvages in them. Just fun. Here's an overnight bag. Now you'll find all of your bags that when you use salvages are very heavy, as I say, because there's twice as much thread in each of those um, side salvages as regular cotton. So it tends to be a little heavier. Mine are heavier again because I use a a heavyweight um, a heavyweight uh, home decor fabric um, as a backing in it because I want them super strong. But each each component of this bag, I made a, a salvage fabric for it basically, and then cut my bag out. Here's one where I used a, a specific color. This is a little lunch bag I take when I go to my retreats. Anybody that knows me knows I love orange. So I usually have lots of orange, orangish type fabrics. So this was a, a little lunch, lunch bag. Now the last one used to be my quilt carrying bag. This is called the getaway bag. I can't remember who, who manufactures it. I love the bag because it stands up. It's very sturdy. I use denim on the inside, and then I, I made the different components with, with the colored uh, salvages. There's lots of exterior pockets to put rulers in it, or um, I think I can even get a book in here. So patterns, all, this is a great one for retreats also. So that's kind of what I do with salvages. In my next video, I'm gonna show you how I process salvages so that you can start making beautiful bags or, oh, I forgot to talk about her. I use salvages everywhere. If you noticed, 
I did a color blocked quilt for the Free Spirit uh, Quilt Challenge. And I added selvages in different parts of the, of the patchwork. So you can, you can sneak selvages in anywhere. <laughs> I've actually made a quilt with selvages. Super fun. It's like uh, any of your string quilts. You can make into salvage, um, salvage blocks and make into quilts. Just have fun with it. Salvages aren't garbage. Salvages are fun to work with and they always spark up a conversation when you run into a quilter and they see your, your salvage bag. <laughs>